1996, Miami was incorporated as a city. Our developing community had banks, stores, and churches, and by the turn of the century, over 1,600 residents. In 1903, Miami had its own newspaper and its first public high school, known simply as Miami High. As the city continued to grow, so too did the student enrollment. From the original Florida bungalow to the wooden school on the site of the current federal courthouse to the concrete school at First Avenue and Third Street, Stingery students continued to thrive in an educational atmosphere. The hurricane of 1926 caused major destruction in Miami. This setback, however, did not delay the plans or construction of the current home of the Stingerees. And on February 14, 1928, Miami High moved to our present location on West Flagler Street. Our building is truly an architectural gem, appearing strong as a fortress, but as gracious as a palace. From the barrel tile roof to the Spanish tile floors, Miami High's Norman, Sicilian, and Mediterranean design is distinctly unique in the world of education. Upon entering Miami High's hallowed halls, students and visitors pass through fortress-like doors. Handmade light fixtures lead the way toward our beautiful archways and breezeways, as well as our Spanish-style patios. Miami High's East Patio features our centerpiece fountain, a gift from the class of 1926. Before school, after school, during victory stomps and proms, the East Patio has served as a gathering place for stingerees of every generation. From the handmade chandeliers to the elaborate proscenium arched stage, the Miami High Theater served as a meeting place for many public events. Used as the original Dade County Opera House, our theater has hosted many theatrical presentations, both large and small. Since its inception in 1903, Miami High has been a reflection of the community, both in the student population and its administration. Leadership at Miami High has always been of paramount importance to our students, and our distinguished list of principals have epitomized the school's 100 years of educational excellence. Air conditioning was a welcomed relief. This phase of the city's history also encompassed a period of change in racial understanding at home and in the political climate in Cuba. By the 1980s, stingarees of every color were finding success in the classrooms. Today, metropolitan Miami is home to over 2 million residents. Miami High has 3,200 culturally diverse students. And leading the way is class of 68 alumnus, Principal Victor Lopez. Over the years, Miami High has produced some of the nation's brightest shining stars in business, industry, government, athletics, and fine arts. Stingerees have also answered the call to defend our country during conflict. World War I and II, Korea, Vietnam, the Gulf War, and even today, numerous alumni are serving our country. Many of these brave young men and women were once part of the Million Dollar Marching Band or played on one of our victorious athletic teams, winning local, state, and national championships. But while Miami High has always excelled in the athletic arena, so too has it brought academic accolades with foundations begun in every classroom since 1903. Through the hallways of our historic building, yesterday's students have become today's leaders at home as well as around the world. Creating the city of Miami was the dream of a small community nestled by the Miami River. As our city has grown, so too has Miami High. Today, as we celebrate our centennial anniversary, Miami High stands proudly and historically in the community. We are Stingerees. We have adapted to suit our students' needs, not by words, but by deeds. And we will continue to do so as we begin our next 100 years of educational excellence.